I got a comment the other day that said, man, you guys eat a lot of pizza. Well, you're right. And today, it's mushroom and pepperoni, which, honestly, I think might be my favorite kind of pizza in the world. I really like Hawaiian, but pepperoni and mushroom is, is pretty awesome. You've tried it? What is it? Good? Shrug? I don't like pepperoni all that much. I'm sorry. That pizza is delicious. Mallory is not a huge fan of uh, pepperoni, but I'm going to tell you right now, pepperoni mushroom, that's, that, that, uh, that's amazing. Tonight at 9, we're supposed to be playing uh, Halo Anniversary with uh, you guys online, and we found our headsets last night, which was good, but Mallory's won't charge, and that is upsetting. So we're going to go out today and try and find an adapter to make our own headsets work with the Xbox 360 controller. A normal microphone jack is 3.5 millimeters, and the input on a 360 controller is 2.5, so I'm assuming that if we can just get a 3.5 to 2.5, we can put the microphone into the controller, and then we can just run a 3.5 splitter out of the headphone jack of the TV to the green, and then we can both have adapters. Basically, we'll both be able to use our computer headsets with our 360 controllers. I'm not 100% sure of the work, but in theory it should, and getting those adapters shouldn't be too expensive as long as Radio Shack actually has them. Success! These things are only $2.50 at Radio Shack, so we picked up two for five bucks. It is a mono 2.5 millimeter male to mono 3.5 millimeter female because we want to hook up our PC headsets to um, the Xbox controller. Now there's no real guarantee that this will work. In theory it should work, but it might have something to do with like weird audio stuff that's over my head that I don't quite understand. I know there's a lot of stuff like mix amps and other terminology that I learned at SCAD that I don't really understand that affects why some things work and some don't. So I'm really hoping that this will work. But it's one of those things that even if it doesn't, um, I'm out only five bucks and I might actually need these in the future for something else, so I'll still hold on to them. Spoilers, it works. It works and it's fantastic and I'm really, really excited. I'll show you what our setup is to do this and you can replicate it yourself. If you have a microphone or a headset that you would rather use than the uh, official uh, Microsoft ones. Anyway, uh, this is what we bought. This is all you need. This is a three and a half millimeter adapter to a two and a half millimeter adapter because the Xbox uses two and a half millimeter and a microphone is three and a half. So basically, we have these headsets. These are the Sennheiser uh, PC-151s. We both have them. And obviously, it's going to give you pink and green. Green is your output, and um, uh, pink is your input, your microphone. So the microphone needs to go into the controller. That's what we bought the adapter for. So the mic goes into the controller, and I have one for Mallory as well. And then we have the green going into a splitter, and then we have a really long uh, extension cable that's uh, three and a half millimeter that goes into the headphone jack of the TV. So basically that allows us both to hear what's going on and we have our separate headsets that go into the controllers. And I, I did record some stuff and I even talked to Dan and it does work. I'm not 100% sure how well it works, but it seemed like it was working fine. Um, I guess tonight whenever we play will be the tried and true test. But if it works all right, I actually might make a separate video explaining like how to do this maybe on Steven Plays because it seems like this is valuable knowledge. I mean, I've used both the wired and wireless headsets, and I mean, I just know that there's better stuff out there, especially if you are maybe a PC gamer um, and you have a headset that you really like or maybe a microphone you really like and you want to use that when you play Xbox. This is a good way to do it. So uh, if it does work out well and everyone can hear me and we can communicate all right tonight, then I'll probably make a tutorial video, even though pretty much what I just did was the extent of what the tutorial would contain. We've been playing some Halo Anniversary, which is actually just Halo Reach, but there's special anniversary maps, and we've been having a good time. It's time to wrap it up, but I figured I would let everyone say hello, so say hello, everyone in my TV. Hello, hello. Internet. <laughs> We were joined by Buttery Pie, Isido, Supersonic, Twizzler Guy, and Six Haircuts, which is this, the person who won the Donkey Kong Country cartridge, so it was actually cool to, to play with him. But it was a blast playing with all you guys, and I hope we get to do it again very, very soon. 
that was a lot of fun. Um, at our peak, we had eight people, and uh, Dan and Mallory was included in that. I think a lot of people haven't picked up the game just because it is Halo. Um, I, in my mind, a lot of people would have missed out on it, because I know that, I mean, I was really young when Halo came out. I think um, me and Austin, Austin is the one who had the Xbox, and he was, we, we were 12, I guess, whenever the game came out, so... Uh, I imagine that a lot of people were probably pretty young when, when Halo 1 came out, so I thought that a lot of people would pick it up. I'm also saying a lot of people a lot. But I thought that a lot of people would pick it up because they hadn't played it. But we had fun. It was a blast. And uh, for those who uh, got the chance to play with uh, me and Mallory, you guys were awesome. And I do look forward to doing this again in the future. Uh, if you're watching and maybe you don't have the game and you're planning on getting it or you didn't get a chance to play tonight, um, we will be playing again in the future. I don't really have a schedule for that, but I will let you guys know on the vlog, and we'll, we'll play in the future. Others of you are probably wondering how our little headset thing worked out. Um, and this is bizarre, and I did not in a million years see this happening. It works, and you can talk, and everything is fine. However, and this is so strange, your controller randomly disconnects. Like, you know how when you're, when you're playing Xbox, if, you're, if you you know run out of batteries, or if you unplug your controller, it'll like stop and it'll shine the little light then it's like please reconnect controller in one match me and Mallory both received those messages like 50 times each not at the same time it was independently and it was the wildest thing we were using wired controllers and obviously they weren't coming unplugged like everything was fine so we did that a few matches and it was terrible um, and it's really frustrating <laughs> whenever you're like gonna go shoot someone and then you, you know, your screen pauses and you're like, ah! So it was terribly infuriating. And then we switched to wireless controllers because we're like, maybe there's something wrong with our wired controllers. And same problem. It was, you know, it just wouldn't stop. So then we just unplugged our headsets. Everything was fine. And that's very strange. We, I don't understand why. And I'm really hoping that one of you guys can help me out. Is there, I mean, what reason would there be like plugging in something down here that would affect it to constantly reconnect it doesn't make any sense i mean we tried literally four controllers with it and i mean you can hear us and everything sounds fine but the controllers just continually reconnect it's insanely bizarre uh but i'm hoping that one of you knows enough about maybe the insides of a controller or sound and frequency i don't know don't ask me to explain exactly what the nature of the problem is, but if any of you guys have any clue, uh, maybe how we could even fix it, that would be good, because um, it would be really, really awesome to be able to use those headsets. Anyway, with all that being said, I am going to get going. I actually have a very busy day tomorrow. Um, I told you guys the other day that I read the calendar wrong, and I did Let's Plays for this weekend and not next weekend. So we actually have a lot of recording to do. Me and Mal have to record two episodes of Halo and I think one or two Minecrafts tomorrow. And uh, I also need to do another Skyrim really soon. And getting them recorded is easy. Getting them edited and exported and uploaded, that's bad. Because all of those things take a long time to do. Um, editing normally doesn't take too long. Um, like a Minecraft, there's, there's not much editing. You know, it's pretty much just let it go and adjust the audio. I do have to play around with Skyrim a little bit because the audio is out of sync. Like, the audio doesn't match the length of the track, and I'm not 100% sure why. And I have some ideas, so every time I do a new episode, I change something, but I haven't quite gotten it. So maybe if you know uh, why my Fraps recording and my Audacity recordings are not lining up, um, I would also appreciate that. And with all that being said, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?